It's time for Dutch Oven Cooking with C-Dub. Here's your host, C.W. Butch Welch. Check, checking up over here and this is one of those recipes that uh, you know we're calling it lasagna but instead of the pasta we're using just corn tortillas to do this we're gonna tear some of these up and really one of the keys to this recipe is we need a little bit of uh, sauce whenever you're putting something in a Dutch oven a liquid you always want just a little layer of liquid on the bottom it stops a lot of that sticking problem and then we're just going to come in here with our tortilla pieces and we're using corn torch for this and uh, okay we're going to just start with a little layer of chicken in here a few tomatoes and before we go too much further, I'm going to dice up some uh, cilantro. The, one of the first times we made this dish, it was in one of the clinics at our home. And uh, we had fresh cilantro in the herb garden. And you can see the wind blowing this off. We'll see if we can get her all in. Or anyway, somebody went over to the herb garden and says, why don't we add some cilantro to this dish? It wasn't in the original recipe as Bob gave it to us but boy it worked good so we're just going to put a little bit in there and uh, we're going to put some different cheese in there and a little bit of corn some black olives oop they didn't get that drained oh well Okay, we don't need that many olives and a few diced green chilies. Okay, and that's our first layer. Okay, and we're just going to come back in with our tortillas. And uh, just repeat the layer. <clears throat> okay, and actually we got several kinds of cheese. Okay, on top of this layer, we come around with a little bit more just enchilada sauce. Chicken. Some cilantro. Of course, fingers are what makes this dish work. A little bit of corn. And our black olives. And you could put anything in here you wanted. You don't have to have the black olives. We like it. And we're using a mixture of Monterey Jack and medium cheddar. And we'll save some of this cheese to get it on to top all of this off with. So let's get a big layer of cheddar in here. And we'll go back with our tortillas. Make another layer. Let's kind of level that out in there. Okay. And let's go in here with our sauce. Save just a little bit for the top. And it looks like the top layer is going to be the one that's thick. That's the one you get rid of everything on. So a uh, little bit of cilantro in there. And some tomatoes. And you can see every layer is a little bit different. So, and I don't want all that juice in that corn. Okay. So we're going to top this off with cheese. Our charcoal's about ready. And we're going to come over here. And let's go over here to our fire pan and look at our Mexican chicken lasagna.
Oh, yeah, that is getting close. We want to give that just a few more minutes. In fact, what we're going to do, we're going to add uh, a little bit of heat underneath. That We had some corn there that wasn't drained. Probably this one might be a little more soupy than we had the last time, and our charcoal is starting to get a little bit used up and so with these big tall lids on these camp chef ovens we can actually bump our top heat up more than we uh, normally would the other thing we can do here with our cheese on top this is kind of like when we add this extra heat like this that's just like uh, putting this under the broiler where we have that extra space on top so we're just going to go ahead and boost the heat up on this and uh, 